As a sales manager, you should keep an eye on the sales trends of your products. Making a time series graph with your sales data of an entire year will help you in this regard. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Ulbasher and today I'll demonstrate how to make a time series graph in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the time series graph. A time series graph is a chart that displays data points over time, usually in a chronological order. It is commonly used to represent trends or patterns in a data. A time series chart usually consists of two axes, with time in the horizontal axis that is the x-axis and the variable being measured is plotted on the vertical axis that is the y-axis. The data points are then connected by lines to show the trend over time. This is a sample time series graph. In this tutorial, I'll show you the detailed process of creating the time series graph. Let's talk about our data set. Here we have the sales figures of four products. You will find the month and the months are set in a chronological order and the data set includes the sales figures of television, refrigerator, printer and juicer. In the first example, I'll create a time series graph with the sales figures of television. One thing I should mention here that the months are formatted in a custom format. To set the custom format, select the cell B5. Then you can set the custom format in two ways. You can press Ctrl plus 1 shortcut to open the format sales window. Alternatively, from the home tab in the number section, click on this drop down icon. Here you will find the available formattings. As I will set the custom format, so click on more number formats. This opens the format sales window from the number section in the category options. You will find the custom formatting at the bottom of the list and the type is set as the first three letters of the month. And this is the custom formatting you will find in cell B5. This formatting is applied across the month column. Now click on OK to close the format sales window. Now we are ready to create the time series graph. As I will create the time series graph with the sales figures of television. So select the cells B4 to C16, then move to the insert tab. From the chart section, click on insert scatter or bubble chart. Here you will find different options of scatter and bubble chart. You can choose any chart according to your choice. In my case, from the scatter chart, I'll choose scatter with smooth lines and markers. As a result, the time series chart is created. This is the basic view of the time series chart. You can customize this chart according to your choice. For example, I'll hide the grid lines. To do so, click on this plus icon which is the chart elements. And from the available elements, uncheck grid lines. As a result, grid lines are hidden from the chart. Now, I'll set the excess titles. So check the option excess titles. And you can set the excess title as the y axis title. I'll set sales in USD as the y axis contains the sales figures. Now, set the x axis title as month. The excess titles are set. From the data set, you can see that the sales figures. Roughly ranges from 8000 to 10,000. So you can set the limit of the y axis accordingly. To do so, right click on this chart area and choose the option Format Chart Area. This opens the Format Chart Area window. To rescale the plot area, click on this drop down icon and choose the option Vertical Value Axis. This opens the Format Axis window. From the Axis Options, click on Axis Options. Then click on this arrow of Axis Options. And here you can set the boundary. You can see the default boundary is 0 to 12,000. To customize the boundary, according to our data set, I'll set the minimum value as 7,000 and hit enter. You can see the maximum value is updated automatically. Now close the format axis window and you can see the boundary of y axis is updated accordingly. As a result, we can better observe the changes in the TV sales over the months. And this completes our time series graph. From this graph, you can get the insight about the sales trend. In this example, I'll compare the sales figures of television and refrigerator. To do so, select the cells B4 to D16. Then move to the insert tab. From the chart section, click on recommended charts. This opens the insert chart window. In the recommended charts tab, you will find the recommended charts. You can choose any chart according to your choice. In this case, I'll choose the line chart. 
To compare the sales figures of television and refrigerator, you will find a preview of this chart here. Now click on OK to insert the chart. As a result, the chart is inserted. Here, the blue color line represents the sales figures of television. On the other hand, the orange color indicates the sales figures of refrigerator. From this chart, you can see that the sales figures of television ranges around 10,000, whereas the sales figures of refrigerator ranges around 35,000. A time series graph gives you the necessary insight about the sales figures. Now, you can set the chart title as sales of television versus sales of refrigerator. And that's it. This completes our time series chart. If you want to compare the month-wise total sales of all your products, then you can use the stacked area chart. To do so, select the entire dataset, that is cell B4 to F16. Next, move to the Insert tab. From the Charts section, click on Recommended Charts. This opens the Insert Chart window. From the Recommended Charts tab, this time I'll choose the Stacked Area Chart. Here you will find the preview of the Stacked Area Chart. Click on OK to create the Stacked Area Chart. You can see the Stacked Area Chart is created. Here the sales figures of the four products are represented by four different colors. For example, the sales figures of television is represented by the blue color in this graph. On the other hand, the sales figures of juicer is represented by the yellow color in this graph. And you will find the month-wise total sales from this chart. You can see the total sales of the four products in the month January is around 60,000. And the value 60,000 matches with the total sales of the four products in January in this dataset. And from this chart, you will get the necessary insight about the total sales across the year. For example, we can say that the total sales decreases in the month June. In this way, you can compare the month-wise total sales. Now, let's set the chart title as Cumulative Sales. And that's it. This completes our time series chart. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a time series graph in Excel. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceltv.com to read our Excel blogs. Or you can share your Excel-related issues in our ExcelDB forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!